Hi, my name is Julian. I run Favourbrook um, in Pall Mall in London. So the shirt choice on a morning coat is very important. You want a classic stiff collar shirt. Um, and it's quite important that the stand of the shirt is quite high. Um, this will sit proud above the morning coat and looks a lot more formal. Um, for Ascot, white shirt is always really nice, but you can also wear pale blue. Um, we do exactly the same shirt as that in a pale blue um, poplin. Um, and the other option would be to go for a white collar pale blue shirt. Um, important that it has a double cuff. Um, this is a replica of a stiff collar, um, but is uh, a lot easier to wear than the traditional stiff collar. So we've, we've created this uh, pale blue one with the white collar. So there are actually 87 different ways to tie a tie. Um, some being very skinny and some being quite flamboyant, but I think the, the secret for somewhere like Ascot is to have a very classic knot, um, something that's not too small, not too big, um, looks very formal. Um, and there are other things to think about when you're tying a tie, um, how you tie it, making sure you don't collapse the knot, for example. So if I'm tying a half Windsor, um, the secret here is to to make a really nice knot so you move it round like this. So if you tie the original part of the tie knot quite nicely and tight and when you're feeding the knot through if you just pull it through on your roll it through the knot like that and pull it through and then what you'll find is you get structure in the knot without collapsing the knot because if you just pull it straight through uh, the knot will fall apart and you'll lose the structure of the tie knot. So you can always pinch it at the side. That's a half, half winds of tie knot. At Favourbrook, the detailing of the waistcoat for us is really important. Things like the piping on the waistcoat. This actually comes from a very traditional detail um, where you used to button in a piece of starched um, Marcella into the waistcoat to give you the piping. It's quite a difficult thing to make on a, on a um, stock garment. So on that, we replicate this with a piece of piping which is much neater. Um, also, details in the buttons are really important. Um, on a favourite waistcoat, we always try and use real shell uh, mother of pearl buttons, um, and they reflect the light around the waistcoat and seem to just kind of disappear into the waistcoat, but also a really nice detailed touch. Um, on buttoning a single-breasted waistcoat, um, it's quite important to leave the bottom button undone. Um, this was started by um, King Edward VIII um, and has always been uh, seen in single-breasted waistcoats since that. Now, if you actually look at the line of the buttons on the waistcoat, the bottom button is cut away from the line of the others. So um, not only on an etiquette purpose, but on a style purpose, it's best to leave the bottom button undone.